What's your eye level? Let's see. You're around 220, right? On on everything. You have a low weapon. Okay, we're gonna try and kill the shaman, I guess. Or we can kill the warrior. Up to you. But we're gonna stun and fear at the same time. And we're gonna do this every, like, 30 seconds. Uh, I'll wait for your stun. And then I'll fear. Like, right after. So you just stun when you're ready. And you just do your thing. And you try and kill that one target. Um, and I'll play around you. Yeah, you can play Thorns, it's okay. I think just overall you wanna wanna take as much single target damage pressure as you as you can in general in these games. But yeah, Thorns is, is really good here. Alright, we got a uh, parry from Warrior. This is good. Maybe we kill through. Okay, he used Rally as well. That's really good. Nice bash. We got all the Warriors defensive, so we should look to kill the Warrior now. Uh, he used Avatar on you. I'm just going to Rapture you here. You're fine. You can Thorns yourself. Buffs on you. Shaman Trinket. Nice kick. Gonna loss next. I'm just spam purging this warrior. I have fear in 10. If you have uh, a bash for the shaman, you can bash shaman uh, into fear and use your other stun on the warrior. Oh shit, you're fucking druid. My bad. He's flesh crafting. We wait until after flesh craft, then we do go. I'm gonna dome you. You're fine. Okay. Whenever you're ready. Miss kick on me. Okay, won't use Tremor the whole game. Hex on me. Gonna fear him now. Big heals on you here. He's going to hex me now. Good trinket. This is uh, Avatar from Warrior as well. I'm rapturing on you. You can wall. Shaman missed his kick. Fear on me. I'll try and fear on the Shaman soon. Shaman Trinket. He's gonna hex me now. Good dispel. Short hex on me. I'm gonna dome you. Damage on Warrior here. He parried and shouted. We can kill on next go pretty much. Just don't die. You can kite him a bit if you want. I'm losting the Shem. Alright, we're 
you want to kill now? I have really low mana, so we have to like kill now or die. Uh, then it's going to be tough. You need to kite here. I gave you speed. Yeah, just keep cutting around. This is really good. I got you. We need to do big go of stuns on warrior here now. Gave you speed. I'm gonna drink it, but here I think. No, I'm not gonna do damage. Yeah, I'm gonna drink. Fuck it. You're doing good pressure. Dome when you here. Yeah, this is the last chance for us. This is Warriors Parry. If we live through Parry, we can probably kill. Fuck, he's topped. Gonna try and drink again. Just stay bare and kite as much as you can. I'll grip you across. Good job. I have fiend in 40 seconds, so I'll have good mana then. Gonna try and fear shaman here. What's this trouble? You're dead. Nice war. Hex on me. Healing you. Really good kiting, man. Trying to top you. So, I think in between goes, we can go bear more and kite um, like we did at the end. Like, at the end, the kiting and, and survival was really good, right? Um, and so, I'm hardly using any mana at the end, and we're just, like, longing the game out. And I think, in general, we need dampening to win that match. Uh, it's not an easy matchup. Our single target burst is not enough to burst someone down. Uh, whether that be because you're playing some wrong talents or you have some wrong gear, I'm not sure. But our single target burst seems really low. Um, that's still okay uh, if we play a longer game like this, right? Um, so, like, we can do goes with stuns, and then in between those stuns, we just, like, run more, right? And then I can heal you up with Atonement rather than Mend. Um... As for your damage, I don't know what you're doing wrong, whether it be regards to rotation on the go, or wrong talents, or just low gear. I'm not sure. I don't play Feral Druid, so I can't tell you that. Um, but, like, you must, like, feel it yourself in the game, right? We have low kill potential. Uh, like, we did some, some good goes, but, you know, they always have a CD for it, and outside of that, they're just chilling pretty much. Like, it shouldn't always be like that. Like, when we do a stun go with a fear on the other one, they should be shitting themselves. Um, but that, yeah, you need to talk to a feral druid about that. I would say. Um, okay, this matchup isn't too bad for us. Essentially, what we do here, right, is I trinket on the rogues blind. And... If they do a combust go on you, then it's your trinket wall. If they do the combust go on me, then it's my trinket. That's pretty much it. So on the opener, if he doesn't blind me, you should be ready to trinket. I'll, I'll say it in game. Or oh, it, it, during the game, rather. Yeah, if, he, if we survive the combust because they blind it or something and you don't have to trinket, then you can trinket on the bomb if I'm in CC. If I'm not in CC, then I'll most likely dome it. They'll probably start with a greater pyro on me.
Rogue reset me. Okay, the go is on me. I melded. Fear Rogue. That's my trinket. Uh, it wasn't combust. So. We got. Did we get Rogue's trinket? No, we didn't. Okay. Next goal on me is going to be bad. Uh, when the rogue runs like this, just insta hit the mage. Just force the rogue to come back. Don't wait. Uh, it's on you this time. Shit, I could have death this. He should be alright. Okay, we can Zerg Rogue a bit now. Next stun on Rogue should be his trinket. Blind on me. Trying to keep the Rogue, but he's low. Maybe Fiend keeps him. Yeah, Fiend kept him. Okay, Fiend just killed him. <laughs> nice. Fucking MVP, dude. <laughs> um, so I I panicked a little bit on opener. It wasn't combust, but I was really scared that he was gonna combust right as uh, his shit was gonna land, and I didn't want to get one shot. So I just trinket melded the greater pyro. Um, the rogue not trinketing the first stun was. Unfortunate for us. I think if we had a tiny bit more damage, he's going to trinket there, and then next stun go, we just kill him, right? Um, just keep in mind, as soon as the rogue runs, you just insta go on the mage. I'm going to be purging him. I'm going to be doing damage to him too. We want to we wanna just start pressuring the mage ASAP so that we can try to... The, the, basically, the goal is to try and force, like, block or cauterize before uh, the rogue, like, heals up too much um, and gets his DRs back to do another go. Uh, so we force the rogue to come back before he's ready, essentially, and then we can just do another go on him. So just never, never hesitate if you think he's going to re-stealth or you can't stop him re-stealthing, just into the go mage. If you get a stun on the mage with no shields, uh, and I get a mind games on him, it's like almost a guaranteed block because his quarter eyes won't proc. Oh, Hunter was over here. Okay, I got him. I'm gonna fear priest here. And I'm gonna give you some buffs. So we do big damn. Nice seat, dude. Really good. Priest is feared. Priest wants to fear me. He missed it. It's okay. So Priest is actually ooming, which is pretty chill for us. He's playing Radiance. We just need to keep doing uh, stun... And fears at the same time. I'm gonna push the priest here. Fear priests. We can pressure here. Dark. Oh nice. No. Wait, that was a big bite. What the fuck? <laughs> That's what we like to see, dude. What was that? Like 10k? <laughs> dude, a 14k bite. I love it. <laughs> More of that, bro. More of that. Yeah, just play like the biggest single target build you've got. Like the bite build, is, I think, is is good for this comp. Because we kill in stuns, right? So, like we fear one, you stun one. We both pump the guy in the stun. Maybe you have a restun if, if like Bash is up or you have Meld or something. And then like if they don't have Trinket, we just pop them.
Um, but yeah, that's that's like the way that that game went is like yeah, they made mistakes and stuff, but that's kind of what the games like the game flow should look like. Okay, they didn't do much offensively, so we didn't need to do much defensively. But offensively, it's like that's how the flow goes, right? You like you get a stun, I do a fear. Um, sometimes against some comps, you need to stun both so that I can fear off because it's, they just run away from me because I'm slow as a priest, I'm like a cripple. Um, but generally, yeah, this was this was how it should look with regards to our pressure. Feared. I didn't didn't believe. I'll dispel you, you have mind games, and I'm gonna rapture after. Should be fine. Nice bash, I'm gonna fear off it. Uh death trap. Priest trinketed. Gonna dome the next trap most likely. Be ready for it and try and stay in it if I do. Gonna dome now. He's gonna fear me into trap. You can just chill in it. Good lossing. I like it. If you can stun the priest, I can fear off. If you have one for Hunter too. See, you don't have bash. Okay, no stress, no stress. I'm coming. Careful, don't lose me. So you lost me a lot here, which made us fall behind. Trinket and trap overlap. This might be your bark skin, be ready. I think it's okay. Okay, we're gonna do big go on Hunter in 10 seconds. Nice kick. I'm gonna dark now and gonna push for fear. Maybe kill her or at least get turtle. It's PS though. Nice. Did not want to press. For some reason, the hunter didn't kick mind control. That was super strange. I'm pretty sure he had it. Oh. Um, yeah, so this game was overall solid. The kiting after the dome was good. The problem was after I came out of the CC. You were like lossing me a bit, so it was really hard to top you. And they had some CDs up still. So I ended up having to use Trinket and PS to save you, which is not ideal, especially when we pre dome the guy. If I pre-dome the fear, he has to kind of... Like, if he fears um, and then doesn't trap, then it's like a wasted go anyway. Like, he can't only trap. Like, if he just traps, then their go is not going to force out any CDs. So they're like... Once he fears, they're kind of committed to trap as well. Um, so if I manage to dome the fear, it's completely fine to, t to stay in the dome. Uh, you don't need to try and take the trap. Because we already negated the go. Um, because he's forced to trap afterwards, right? And and they're not going to kill you through 50% dome. So what you did on that go was fine. It was just afterwards that it was rough. Um, yeah, yeah. You just like you were bent, went a bit too aggressive after the go when I was out of CC, so it was tough to top you. I had to like push into them to heal you and then it makes it really hard. Okay, so this comp is gonna kill during combust only. 
They're going to do a, a CC on one of us and stun on one of us and then combust. We're going to try and kill Mage. It's Guardian. Alright, Guardian procced. Just keep pumping. This is good. We're making good pressure here. They're going to try and do a go soon. They're going to try and do go off here. No, I didn't get the spell. Okay, the go is on me. I'm going to trinket. And BM. I could have got that fear if I was faster. This is my bad. All right, you can pressure now. We're chilling until their next go, which is in like one minute or so. A little bit under. Oh, a little bit over, sorry. Priest faded my fear. Pressure anyway. Purging mage. If you kick something on holy here, it's good. So they're trying to get combust back before my trinket comes back. So next go, I'm going to need to try and PS the go. Uh, and I might need some peels from you. Um, a roar or whatever on the, on the mage is good. Nice bash. I'm going to fear off. The um, well, the priest could have actually healed healed. <laughs> yeah, the mage had mind games because uh, the priest dispelled some random shit, so he couldn't dispel the mind games off the mage, and the mage didn't want to block it, so he just didn't get caught eyes and died. Um, our pressure this game was really good. Um, I think the main thing wrong this game actually was when you got feared. I could have dispelled you before the priest's global to stun me and. I moved back right as it happens, and then I tried to move out to dispel you, and so he was able to stun me. So that's my bad. Rest was fine. I think this game really good bash on the priest at the end. Uh, okay, against this, I think we just kill Rogue with CC on Paladin like we've been doing. I think we've been doing good going on DPS in general, so let's continue doing that, since that seems to be what you're comfortable with. Um... It's working well. I mean, I think I think it's good to try and get more comfortable with just the, the gameplay and the matchups, doing what you're comfortable with. And then once, you know, you feel like we're comfortable against a lot of comms, you know, we, we generally know what to do against a lot of comms. We can try and see if there's better strats to do. Because I don't know all the best strats is this comp. I haven't played that much Priest Feral. Um, when I play with Tony, generally we just stun one, fear one, and then just kill the guy in the stun. Um, and just depending on what CDs they use, we have options to go on both. Um, but yeah, let's let's keep going. I think going rogue here is completely fine. If the pala like wastes everything, we can maybe do a go on him, but let's, let's focus on trying to kill rogue. Pala's losing mana, so I'm just going to carry on doing this. I don't know. Nice. I'm going to fit Pala. Alright, they're doing go on me. I should be fine. Fearing now. Buffs on you. Big damage. <sighs> okay, we're fine. You can hit Pala a bit while he's in Vanish. He used Sack as well, so we can make some pressure. I'm going to mind games him. Maybe we get Bubble here. If we do, it's really good. Let's save by light. Kidney on me. Okay, we won't get bubble, probably. He's gonna rep me here. I'll PS you. You're fine. Nice bark skin. DR sap off. We're completely fine. I'm gonna try and fear power off this. Do a guard wrong on rogue now, if you can. Nice bash. He's lost, he's lost his power. I'm going to dispel power big kill. Cheap shot on me. He's going to rep me off this. This might be your wall. Be ready. Yeah, you can wall. You can wall. Going to fear Pala now. Just waiting for the faint. Okay, let's go.
If you get rid, it's good. I'll keep rogue. I'm trying to anyway. Hodge on me. He's going to wrap me off. Maybe you can kick it. Unlucky. I have my trinket still, but I want to save it for the blind. I'm going to fit after that. After that, really good. Vino. Dark on you. Shh. Big pump here. Gonna MC the Pallor off. We got Cloak. Pallor bubbled. Kidney on me. This is their go. Rep on me. Nice, I'm gonna fear off. Oh, DR sap on me, DR sap on me. To say like, bear, 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 bear. You're in duel. I'm gonna be in Radiance, but try and heal yourself. Nice. I got you, I think. Blind on me. Oh, fuck. So, here, I think you just weren't in bear enough when they were doing their go. You were in cat, like, while I'm still in CC. Just take care. If you don't have CDs, just make sure you're staying in bear. Uh, another thing you can do is, uh, if you're watching the rogue, if the rogue ever stuns me, your next global should be bear. Because you're going to bear form his his go then. So just keep an eye. Usually he's going to stun me first, right? Before he stuns you. Unless the palace stuns me, it's going to be rogue stun on me, right? And to stun on you from the rogue and, to, and rep on me out of the stun from the pala. Uh, which means that there's going to be a global where you have a chance to react to the stun on me. Um, so if you just get used to going bear as soon as you see uh, the stun, then it's cool. Should trinket wall. I think that your the go where you walled, we were okay. Like you didn't need to trinket there. Like it was a good hold, I think. Um, because we didn't use anything extra on that go because the wall was late and, and I was able to top you. The problem happened when we had when they did the last go. Um he he kidding me into a rep and then cheap shot you and we were in cat form. We didn't get bear form off. Um and so you didn't you didn't pre bear form the go, which in the end wasn't that bad. Um, but then I get resapped, and you're just running around in cat. This is I think the main mistake here. Um, if you don't get the bear form off, and they're doing a big go with like they get rep off and resap and all that shit. Um, you see them using dance, uh, and you don't have any CDs for it, then just make sure you're in bear until I'm I'm out and I can keep you safe. I I don't think there was it, like the mistakes weren't that big, right? The cooldowns that you used were good at a good time. Uh, you didn't overuse, you didn't underuse. It was all good. Uh, our goes were solid. We were probably going to win, like, next go, right? We got Palace Bubble. So we were in good shape offensively. It was literally just that small thing where you just weren't in bear. Overall, uh, overall, this was a good game, I think. Um, yeah, this is just... I don't even know what... what... <laughs> This is so essentially you're gonna you're gonna run into weird ass comps sometimes in twos, um, and you're gonna face them like what once every fucking twenty games, not even that. Um, so yeah, we're gonna try and kill DH here, but don't stress too much about this matchup. We're gonna treat the prot just like a healer, right? Um, just be careful not to stun into his uh, his mount that he's using now because he's immune. I'm gonna fear never mind he sacks. Um I'm gonna wait until the sack's off and then fear. <sighs> I wasted my fear like a noob. My bad. And then mind games the pala here, I think. Okay, the pala just I don't even know if he healed into it actually, but that was uh that was a weird one. Pressure was really good this game. Did he heal into it? Let's see. Ooh, he did. He healed into it a lot. 
Okay, that definitely helped us. Um, so yeah, you see, you see the difference when we, when we have pressure like this, it almost forces the flow of the game to be more predictable. And then you, you find like situations to be more familiar and you kind of know what to use then and, and how, how it's going to play out because you've experienced those situations before, right? Because that's how the game should go. Um, and the difference is, obviously, if we're not doing the pressure we should, then everything is so much more unpredictable. Uh, so if you compare this game, for example, to... Or, or the last game where we played against the Rogue, right? Where we where we did good pressure on our goes and we did what we should on our goes. Those games look so much different to the game against the Shaman Warrior, where we weren't doing as much pressure, where we weren't doing the pressure we needed to on the goes. Um, and, and so their cooldowns feel a lot more random then and, and harder to force out. Um, so that's why I'm like talking so much about uh, and putting so much emphasis on like doing that good damage uh, Because like that's kind of the first thing that has to happen right for us to then figure out the rest And that's like the hardest thing for me to teach as well Like I can't teach you to do damage right so if you're doing damage like you have been in recent games It's like we can fix all the other mistakes easily So it's, it's good stuff. We're doing good So yeah, we're just going to go Hunter again here. Um, same as before. Try and rotate our defensives on their traps. I'm just going to start with a fear. You can open on Hunter. He used his stun. He's going to trap me off. It's a really early trap. Should be fine. Maybe just a bark is fine. Because Hunter's popping his damage. Mine game's tr nice kick, dude. Really good. I'm going to rapture you here. You're fine now. Right, this was a pretty big go from them. Uh, this one should be fine. If you can do anything to Priest to stop fear, it's really good. Perfect. I'm going to fear him off. Okay, Priest Trinket for free. Awesome. They both Trinket, so no one has Trinket on, on their team now. I'll dispel mind games. Hunter missed his kick. He's going to trap me again soon. I'm going to dome now. Stay in this one. If he traps, we're chilling. going to top you. Alright, he stunned into it. Just stay bare now, stay bare. Good. Priest is going to try and fear again. Nice route. Fear on me. Should be okay. Nice bark. I'm going to heal you up after. I got you. Okay, I'm pushing for fear now. Let's do go on, Hunter. I'm going to trinket and dispel this mind game. This is a scary go. Alright, fear on me. This fear is useless. You can go aggressive here. We're going to do a go, a go now on Hunter. Nice route. That was Hunter's wall hack as well. It's done on me. We just need to try and make some pressure here. Nice try. Fuck, you got the fear on me. I think it's okay. So we're actually winning on mana. Um, if we keep rotating our defensives well, we'll be okay. I'm gonna hit the pet here. This Bob Mine Games trap on me now though. Try and live this go. This is this is probably the hardest go of the game. Nice bash. Priest trinketed. I don't have fear for him, so I'm kiting. I'm gonna dome you here as well. Fear him. Trying to top you now. I've got dark for you. They use dome. Alright, he's done me. He's probably going to fear off. 
Yep, fit. Use boxing. Nice roll. Rapture, I'll dispel mind games. Okay, we should be alright. Trap on me now. Good stun. Really good clone. Alright, we need to play a bit more aggressive now on this next go. I'm gonna push for fear. Nice, I'm gonna fear off. I'm gonna use Trinket. Trap on me. I'm gonna sit this, I think. I have Fiend in 10. Fear on me. I'm gonna Trinket this, dispel mind games. You stunned me as well. Trouble here. Gonna try and top you. This is a lot of damage from them though. Nice wall. Trying to get the PI off. Okay, it's off. Ugh. So defensively, we're pretty good, but offensively, we're just not putting out enough pressure on the Hunter. Um, we got their trinkets in the first go, but other than that, uh, we struggle to really force anything. I think when we're doing a go on the Hunter, because of he because he's playing like Fain Death Legendary, right? So he has it every 15. Uh, we really need to focus on when doing a go, we have to get a stun restun. Uh, a lot of the goes, we only got the one stun, and we're not forcing out uh, enough CDs because of it. Because we only really have the fear on the priest as C CC, so we have to force everything in that one fear stun go. So, defensively, we were good here. We just didn't have the damage we needed. Um, right, here we want to... We, we basically play this the same as the um, as the Pala Rogue team, right? It's just a little trickier to CC the Holy Priest. Um, make sure you're using Feral Frenzy on the goes as well. Not just on CD. I'm just going to fear into Holy Ward. Chastise me, no sap. Make sure you stop mind games. Most important thing. I'll give you speed. So we're probably going to end up ooming this. We just need to survive. Um, and do pump on the rogue. Nice bash, man. I got uh, I got fear on the priest and he's trinketed. Really good bash. I'm gonna run to the middle, sort of, so you can keep hitting. Cloak, awesome. They're gonna try and do go soon. Be ready. If you see me get stunned, go bear. Chastise on me. Nice bear, dude. So good. This is my games. <laughs> yeah. Um. I think you need your trinket here. If you get a dodgy go of a lot of CDs like that, and he gets the mind games, you're just gonna flop. Um, obviously, you weren't able to trinket wall. The the pre bear was good, but the problem here is, is here, right? If I trinket on this go, then they're gonna do a blind go, next go, and you're gonna get destroyed on it with blind sap. Um. I'm not sure where your trinket went in this game, but be really careful with using it against rogue teams. Uh, you're pretty much fine unless you get like a, um, a big mind games on you. Did it start on bomb kidney? I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't automatically script your trinket with bomb. With a priest, I have a lot of things to heal you and bomb. I have dome, I have radiance, uh, I have atonement. That's all healing you and bomb, right? So a lot of the time, the bomb is a bait. Um, and yeah, be careful with regen um, if, he, if he gets mind games on you. 
like that. Okay, here we're gonna just go warrior mostly, I guess. I don't know. If you if you think you can go resto, go resto, and we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna I'm gonna fear the warrior every time you stun, um, and every other fear will be full. Right? He's gonna zerk half of them. I'll try and get the druid out by hitting warrior, and then you can just open on him. All right, warrior wasted his fear. That's cool. Avatar, I'm gonna rapture you. Fearing warrior now. Fuck, he's blade stormed it by accident. That's really annoying. He didn't use Zerk. Bash on me. He wants to clone me. Giving you buffs. Didn't get my fear again. Choke. I'm gonna hit the warrior a bit here just because I can. Okay, I'm hitting Druid. Druid actually has no hots. I'm spam dispelling the new hots. He NS'd. Mind games druid now, maybe? I'll, I'll do it on next turn, actually. I'm gonna fear warrior here. Hitting warrior a bit now. Avatar, I'm gonna rapture you. Nice rude dude, fucking good. Purging druid. And I'll give you dark as well. You're completely fine, you can go aggressive. I have another fear for warrior as well. Ready when you are with your stun. Mind games now, he can't dispel. Maybe we kill. Perfect. Did you not have combos to do it earlier, I guess? You waiting for swap out of bear? I think that we can actually potentially kill him even in bear with mind games. Um, if we get a full fear on the warrior and he doesn't intervene. Um, if you get him out of bear and he doesn't have trinket, it's like a 100% kill. Um, yeah, let's go DK here. This is kind of a weird matchup. Um, we can also go Pala, but we'll see what happens in the game. They're gonna do a go like once a minute, pretty much. Nice leap. Pala used Trinket. DK used AMS. We just got through a lot of CDs for free, that was good. All right, that was their go as well, kind of. He used blind. I'm gonna try and fear Pala soon. Okay, this is gonna be chill streak. I'll dome here. No, nope, I'm stunned. Watch out. Okay, I'm gonna fear Pala after this clone. Fear now. 
buffs on you. We got sack. We can go into it a bit and then go Pallor if you want. Maybe we can uh, force some CDs. Okay, that's blind. I'm gonna dome here. Dispelled big kill. Big kill. Gonna fear. Good bash. Really like it. DK no kick. I'm gonna mind game some. MC. He litched. Nice coin. Right, this is chill streak. Looking to fear on Pala. Waddling. Bring the DK up. Okay, maybe I can fear now. I got it. Dark on you. Nice stun, really like it. Pala trinketed. Awesome. Really good burst. Yeah, so we're gonna... I guess we can mostly go Warlock here and then run on Dark Soul. Let's give it a shot. If Holy Priest is good, it will be hard to CC him, so we'll see what he does. Stun on me, miss kick on me. I'm pushing to Priest now. Fuck, I removed your bleeds with that. My bad. Dispelling Warlock. Dark Soul, I'm dispelling it. It's off. Uh, you can sit on Warlock a bit here. Priest used Fade, all good. Just focus on getting back to the Warlock ASAP. We're hiding way too much right now. Dark Soul has been long gone. Only time we run is Dark Soul, rest of the time we ham. More you ham, less damage you take. Shit, I can't get this. Uh, Priest wasted fade. Shit, I just pressed dark, my bad. I'll grip you up if he ports. Dispel with PI. No idea how this fear hit me. Nice. Good kick. I just bought Dark Soul, we're chilling. Alright, we can ham Warlock again. Let's 
We need to ham a lot now. Like, really a lot. Priest is going to lose mana. Otherwise, I'm going to go Uma. We're going to lose. going to give you Dark as well. I'm going to Fiend Warlock really soon as well. Just try and kick anything the Warlock does. Literally anything. He's getting way too many casts off. I'm going to Fiend now. Try to stop Banish. I'll grip you. Ported. Wall. Can't get this coil. We kind of lose now if we don't kill. I've got no mana left. I'm pumping him, but... Right, so... More more kicks, more ham. Is all. Like, I see your kick up a lot of the time, and the Warlock's just standing there casting Malefic, like, spamming it. And it's rowing us down. Like, it really doesn't matter what you kick. You're just trying to... It's, it's PvE match, all right? You're just trying to stop him doing some damage. The more damage you stop from him, the more ham we can go. The more ham we go, the less damage he does. And then the more um the priest goes, and then we win the game. Um, there was a point also where you were just running for no reason. Like, both Dark Souls got dispelled immediately. Um, and you pretty much only need to chill for like five seconds there and just get straight back on him. If you chill for longer, then he's going to get all his mobility back up and you're going to find it hard to stick to him. Because you have to use your mobility to get back to him because you ran. Um, other than that, it wasn't, wasn't a bad game. Like, we were nearly there. Um, we're gonna go Hunter here. Yeah. Uh, we can we can also go Druid yeah. Uh, just see how the game goes, kind of. See what CDs we get from our goes, that sort of thing. Bash on me, or pet stun rubber. Nice trappy, really good. All right, we're chilling now, we're chilling. Uh, we can go Druid if you want on next fear. He has no hearts. Nice, I'll give you buffs. Okay, they're going for me by the looks of it. I can't stop this clone. Sorry. They shouldn't be able to kill me, really. Um, we just need to keep doing goes on Druid if they're going me, I think. And I'll just fear the Hunter when we do. We're using a lot of the druid's mana here, so that's good. I'm going to dome. I'm okay. Nice thorns. Going to purge up the hunter to make pressure.
Nice route, dude. It could be dark. Ten seconds for my fear. I have mind games for next go on drone, he has no trinket. Fear in five. Alright, I'm ready. Actually, he's kiting me a lot. <laughs> Love it. It's a fucking beautiful guy. Awesome stun, dude. <laughs> Which, in my opinion, is not that difficult of a thing to fix. Doing more damage. Um, it's just something that you need to focus on more. I think that your your overall goes were completely fine. Like we did good pressure, we forced trinkets out. We're just lacking that last bit of damage to you know to force out that that bit of pressure that we need. Um, but overall, I think we made a big improvement. We're chilling at like two two. Um, I think if you watch the games back and. Uh, try and figure out where you're going wrong with regards to like damage rotation and that sort of shit. Then you definitely have potential to get like 2-4. Because you're doing well stopping stuff, you're doing well reacting to their goes with regards to cooldowns. Um, and you're doing... You're doing well in general with just like targeting, kiting, that sort of thing. Um, timing out the goes, everything has is, is been pretty solid. The solid improvement, everything's everything's like where it roughly needs to be to go to 2-4, except your damage. Yeah, thanks for the games, man. It was uh, it was good. I hope that there's uh there's some stuff in there that was was helpful. And uh, yeah, we can do another session in a bit. <laughs>